I'm gonna teach you how to tie a hair rig for fishing for carp. All you need is some braid and a circle hook between size four all the way up to one aught. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take approximately 12 to 18 inches of braid and cut that off. That's gonna be the basis for our hair rig. I'm using 20 pound braid, but you can go bigger if the carp you're going after are of a bigger size. Next thing you wanna do, take one end of your braid and you're going to tie a small loop knot on the end. Double your line over and tie a simple overhand knot. The loop on the end doesn't need to be very big. Now we're gonna take one of our circle hooks and tie it onto our hair rig with a knotless knot. When the rig is fully tied, you want approximately one quarter of an inch of your hair rig extending beyond the shank of the hook. What you wanna do is you wanna take the opposite end from your loop. You wanna go up through the bottom of the eye of the hook, like so. And measure out how much of your hair rig you want hanging off the end. Between one quarter and one half of an inch should be good. Now, take this end of the line and you're going to look at the eye on the hook. The open side you want to avoid because that can chafe your line, but take your line and start wrapping it the opposite side and wrap it five to six times around the shank of the hook. Now take the, the end and go back up through the eye and pull it tight. And that is your knotless knot. So that's all it takes to tie a hair rig. As you can see, it's very simple, only takes a few minutes. This end will be attached to your swivel on your main line, and your bait is going to go on your hair right here. To bait this rig, you're going to want to get yourself a bait needle and some bait stops. Alternatively, I'll show you a method on how to create your own bait needle and your own bait stops if you don't have these items, but I'll leave a link in the description below on where to pick these items up. They're very cheap, only a couple dollars. You're going to take your bait needle and you're going to take some corn and you want to thread your corn onto the bait needle like so. Take the loop and hook your bait needle onto the loop and close the stop so that it doesn't come off and then push your bait onto the hair, like so. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take one of your bait keepers, and you're going to put it in the eye of the loop, and then take your bait and push it up against the bait keeper. And that bait keeper is going to hold that bait on the line. Right there's your fully baited hair rig. Alternatively, if you don't have a bait needle or bait keepers, I'm gonna show you a way to make your own using a simple worm hook and a toothpick. Take your worm hook and a pair of pliers and you're gonna bend the shank straight. It doesn't need to be perfect, just make sure that you don't crimp the barb because that's gonna act as our hook. Now take your hook Thread your bait on, take your loop, hook it on, and push the bait onto the line. Now take your toothpick and break off a small piece. Put this in the loop of your hair rig and push the bait up against the toothpick. And there you go. That is the makeshift way of creating your own bait needle and own bait keeper. And that's how you tie a hair rig for carp fishing. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.